Okay, so the first thing I brought was this here. So this is a four-tier basket storage unit from IKEA. It's metal. It's got like baskets that slide out. So I'll just show you. They pull out like this. So they're on runners. Um, and it's really convenient because it holds so much. The baskets are so long. You can see they go all the way back there to the whole width of the wardrobe. Um, this was £39. And I think that's a really good price. So it houses for me it houses the things that i don't ever really use at the bottom or like some household stuff there's trousers and leggings jumpers there's all the casual t-shirts and then because of the way it is with my wardrobe it's a double wardrobe it's gave me space to put like dresses that side and then this side i've got room still to put because i've got a wash on so i'll have clothes that need to be hung up there in that space but before it was so jam-packed and there was like piles of stuff all here on the floor just in heaps and I had nowhere to just pull out something if I needed it so for me it's really convenient just to have a basket of t-shirts a basket of jumpers I can just go to pull it out grab it and go and then I've still got space and I've got a couple of like things I didn't really want to crease um, that I hung up there but there's still some space here for like the stuff that's in the washer um, when it's dry I can hang that up but it's a really good idea and I'm like not DIY um, skilled, shall we say. I don't excel in that area, but I managed to put this together within five minutes. It was so easy. I just had a hammer um, and I managed to just like whack it all in together and then put the baskets in because the frame comes separately, but the baskets are like together and then the runners are already on the frame. So the only thing you need to do is put the frame together and then slot the baskets in. It's really easy and simple and this was I'll put a picture up now of the actual item on Ikea website so you can see it I think it's Besta or something like that um, but I'll, I'll include a photo anyway but that is my one top tip for wardrobe space is getting something at the bottom I know it sounds like basic but getting something at the bottom that creates more space that you can house your stuff rather than it being a massive pile and um, they do have other sizes as well they have like a three tier they have a slimmer one a slimmer version like quite thin um, so it wouldn't take up too much room but I like the fact that it separates a little bit of my wardrobe my dresses are over there I've still got space to hang up the stuff that is currently in the wash and then obviously this is all of my casual stuff so for me it's really worked and I'm super pleased that I've brought it so it was £39 I also got a sideboard, so I'll show you that now. This has been a lifesaver for my kitchen because I do not have lots of cupboard space to work with. So let me show you the next clip on um, buying a sideboard from Ikea and what it looks like. So this is the Ikea sideboard. This was £143 on the Ikea family price. Um, I think it was 170 or 175 if you paid full price for it but if you've got like an ikea family card you can get it for 30 quid off which is a huge saving um so that armchair isn't going to stay there i need to move that but this also that's not going to stay like that either but this is basically the sideboard that i have got because i needed a bit of space in my kitchen so you're going to see a bit of mess so excuse that all of this needs to go in there so that's on the floor um but if i take you around here there's stuff i need to put away so excuse the stuff that is out on the side but um i have these cupboards here for plates and cups in fact i might as well show you because some of this was from ikea so i brought this the plate space saving things um so they're really handy because it keeps everything in one place and organized so that's my plates and then these are my cups most of it is in the dishwasher actually but they are my glasses and mugs and then I just have this for food which I've also shown so this is another from Ikea these are brilliant I keep cereal in one um, just because this isn't tall enough for most cereal boxes so rather than decant it into bags and then just have it really messy I just brought these from Ikea and they're just at the back there's two of them I've got I've got a label machine so I labeled them up but these are perfect for the size of this cupboard um, and they stock my cereal really nice and then everything is just kind of in its place organized and the reason I did this is because like 
this for example was an absolute shocker it was just so full and like overflowing and i wasn't sure what i had um so when i go and do the food chart i can just these are from ikea they were 10 pound i can just pull out this basket and then see what's inside see what i need to refill things like that so ikea are fab for storage so that's like for the food cupboard these are all like utensil drawers this was from ikea this really large um tray it's it's got like a grip like a gray grip so it stops everything from sliding and it's really handy just to keep it all in one place so i really like that but this is just utensils and then that is just saucepans i didn't really have a lot of space for all of this so these are just like cake stands party decor uh, like the toaster machine there things that the hot chocolate machine things we don't use too often so we decided a couple of months ago to get a sideboard and i was looking around for the best price and i saw this one only two days ago on ikea so i've been searching for ages on wayfair amazon all of that um and then i saw this at ikea and i thought it was a really good bargain because we've got gray tones in the kitchen i thought it would be really nice just to bring a bit more gray in so i've got like a gray dishwasher i've also got a bit washed on the radiator so apologies for that <laughs> some pajamas and a face cloth um so i've got the gray dishwasher i've got the black washer the gray fridge and then we've got the gray blinds up there so everything's like the gray i think fits into the space because you can get white but i really like this color um this armchair we've had for ages surplus and we like to keep it, it used to be over here uh where this table is but i bought that rug from b&m and then I wanted to just have like, because sometimes if we eat downstairs, because we've got a kitchen diner downstairs and then upstairs is our lounge. It's like a townhouse. So sometimes if I want to eat downstairs instead of the lounge and we don't go into the dining room, which is next door, uh, we just sit here. But it's really nice to like look out. So we pull the table a bit further out and then we get to like look into our garden and it's a really pretty space. But before we used to have the armchair there. Um, I really love this armchair. I think it's gorgeous, but I don't really know where to pull it. So for now, it just stays where the bifold doors are. I might have to move it. We'll see. But for now, it's just going to stay there. Um, but yeah, this is a sideboard. And the best thing about it is the drawers are so deep. So this is the first one. But then the bottom one this it's so high up like it's a good 20 centimeters so you can fit loads in and i've already started putting in my cake stands because i've got loads because i do these parties loads of cake stands um and you can adjust the shelves as well i've got a jug here that's quite tall so we adjusted the shelf so it could fit so yeah it's a really cool piece of furniture and i thought for 143 pound it's a good price so let me put all of this stuff in here and then i'll show you how i i've put it all away i also need to refill my jars they were from ikea home bargains and home bargains um so i'm going to refill them as well but probably not tonight because i need to go to the shops to get some stuff for them but i really like it i'm going to move that and then i'll put all this stuff away and i'll show you how it all fits all right so i've shoved it all in i'll do my best a screw's come out which is worrying me because my hubby put this together so that's his fault and i need to find out <laughs> i need to find out where that's come it came from this door which i don't know where it came from so he needs to have a look at that but the first shelf i just got a toasty maker and the uh chocolate a hot chocolate machine thing um and then i did my scales there's plenty of room at the back as well so i can really use the space and then at the bottom i just did all of my glass dishes i use for parties and glass bottles and jugs and then in these drawers i went for things that we use most of the time so i went for dishes that we put in the oven or just these dishes that we serve food with or have snacks on these are some plastic plates sometimes i use these if nieces and nephews come over or like family visit i get these out and put stuff on like cakes and stuff and then this is my fridge storage containers so that's something that i would use on the regular and then this one these are just uh platters plastic platters serving trays cake stands serving bowls and then like grids and stuff at the bottom so this is because it's so deep it fits all of these platters in but this doesn't get reused very often and then the bottom one is my baking which actually does get used quite often so i've got my tins down here scales 
big mixing bowls and then baking dishes which i can put in the oven so that is the drawers and then this side is the cake stands just kept them as they are because it houses them perfectly and then at the top i'm just going to keep it like this so these are from primark these beautiful artificial flowers and the vase is from jysk the cake stand is from Home Sense and uh, Ikea, Home Bargains and Home Bargains. I need to fill those. But that is going to be my sideboard in the kitchen. And it just clears up so much space in my cupboards and houses all of the big stuff that I just don't have space for. So I'm really super pleased with it. I'm still not sure about that armchair. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do. It looks fine, I think, but yeah, I'm not convinced it's going to, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I just need to get some flowers and then I need to tidy up my, uh, well, first of all, washing, but also uh, the clay stuff I've been doing because, sneak peek, I've been doing some clay earrings. So I've been making clay earrings as a little hobby, so I'm sure I'll video that as well. So there you go. That is how I house all of my things and the storage that helps me to do that. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I've brought and how I use the IKEA furniture. The jars and stuff are so cheap. So if that's something that you're interested in doing, someone asked me in a comment once how many bags of pasta you get in these glass things, and you do, you can't a bag doesn't fill it, so you do have leftover, which can be I suppose quite annoying. I just like fold the bags up and then tuck them behind in the cupboard. Um, but these are like two pound and they save so much space in your cupboards when you can get it lined up like that I mean it doesn't work for everybody but for me I really enjoy this system I can see what I'm out of and what I need to replace and it just works so yeah I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I buy from Ikea and how I use that in the home thanks so much for watching take care enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video bye